Hi, tech friends. Michael Thomas here. I'm going to go through a workflow I've been using for a few years now on how to get my scripted content to get the captions timed so you can use that timed uh, caption file uh, in any other NLE or for online distribution. So let's go through the steps. It's actually pretty easy. First thing we're going to do is take our finished cut, make sure the ins and outs are exactly the same, and upload it. We're going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, we're going to use YouTube's backend Voodoo to get this done. While we're waiting, first thing we're going to do is to take our script and remove all of the screen direction, remove any notes, and save it as a plain text file. Not a rich text. We don't want any formatting in this. So just a plain text file. Anything that you want to be captioned should be in this document. As we wait for the uploading to finish, we can choose to make this either public or unlisted. Probably go unlisted just so no one else can see what you're doing. Now we need to make sure that YouTube processes this first. You can't do a lot of work with captions until the video has been processed. When it's finished, we want to go to our video manager. Once in our video manager, we want to select the video we just uploaded. Next, we want to click on Subtitles and CC up at the top. Next, we want to click on Add New Subtitles or CC. Select your language. And next, we'll upload our plain text script. We'll then click Set Timings. By clicking set timings, we're telling YouTube to compare the audio in the file versus our plain text script. Now this will take a little while as YouTube has to analyze both of these files. In fact, if we go in too early, we get a little message saying, hey, it's being done. Just hold your horses. We'll be done soon. Okay, we've waited long enough. Let's go back in. And we can see YouTube has timed the captions for us. Most likely, you're going to want to go in and change it the five burning tech questions you have about technologies and workflows in the media creation space. Aesthetically, it may not look right. There may not be enough text uh, in each segment. Uh, remember, this is for people to read and understand, and YouTube doesn't understand context. Sometimes for artistic reasons or just for readability, you want to sort this out and uh, you know, kind of change where the text may lie. Let's fast forward through all my changes. And when we're done, we'll hit publish. These captions are now live. We now want to go back into the captions and click on the Actions button, and we can download the caption file. In this case, I'll select an SRT. Now I can go into my NLE, in this case Premiere, and I'll import that caption file. Once the caption file is imported, I can double click on it and take a look, and as you can see, everything is timed just like we had it on YouTube. Voila! Now you have a timed caption file. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Michael Thomas. Check out 5thingsseries.com for more tech goodness.